Hi all, welcome to System Vlog sessions. So in the last session, we have already discussed the array manipulation methods, the description, how it works, what it will return, everything we have discussed. So in this session, we will see the examples for each method. Okay, let's start with the element locator methods. So here I have an array which is of size 8. That means we can store 8 elements. One, one queue is also there. This queue is used to store the result. It will return multiple elements, right? When we perform the methods, it will return multiple elements. So in order to store, we have one queue, okay? In the initial begin, I'm calling the first method, find method, okay? Array.find. We know that we can use either local variable or this item keyword. Item keyword is a default keyword. We can use that instead of X. So if we are using that item keyword, no need to write this, this parenthesis X, okay? And instead of X, we have to insert the keyword item item is greater than 4 like that okay okay we will see find x with a x greater than 4 this expression should satisfy okay which element satisfy this condition that will be returned so it will check it will iterate throughout the index throughout the array and it will see 2 is greater than 4 no 1 is greater than 4 no 7 is greater than 4 yes so it will return the 7 value and it will store to the store into the queue okay result and it will again move the next element. So 3, 1, so 1 is also not, 8 is greater than 4, 9 is greater than 4, 6 is also greater than 4. So this 7, 8, 9, 6 will be returned. I will run the code. We can compare the answer and discuss. Yes, 7, 8, 9, 6. It, is written, it, it has written 7, 8, 9, 6, right? Next, the find first method. Find first method will return the first element which satisfy the condition. It will start from the left side. Okay, the first element is 2 here. So it will check what is the condition. Item should be less than 3 and item should be less than 6. So here we are using bitwise and operator. It both should be true. Then only it will return the element. So two, first, first it will start from 2. 2 is less than 3, yes. 2 is less than 6, yes. So it will return this value. In this first, first find first, find last, it will return single element. Okay, because in the name only it is there, find first, find last, right? So, it will return the value 2, here, here, C, 2. And find last method will start from the right side. That means, in the last element it will check. The last element, what is the condition? Item should be less than 6 and greater, greater than or equals to 1. So, 6 is less than 7 and it is also greater than 1. So, 6 is the answer. It will return the value 6. And for this, the with clause is mandatory. And for this, min, max, and unique methods, this with clause is optional. You can use or you don't have to use. Min method will return the minimum value. Here, 1 is the minimum value. So, it will take only one time, even though if we have a you know, 2 times 1. Okay. So, 1 will be returned. And in maximum method, in maximum method, in here, in, mag, in maximum method, it will return the maximum value. 9 is the maximum value here. So it will return 9. Okay. And last one is unique. So it will return the unique elements. In, uh, unique element means 2, 1, 7, 3, 8, 9, 6. So this, uh, these 7 values will be returned. Now we will see the index locator methods. Index locator methods is also same as element locator methods. What's the difference now? It will return the indices instead of the elements. The perform uh, the operation is same. So here also find index with x greater than 4. Same expression I have taken. x greater than 4 means it will iterate throughout the array. It will check which element is greater than 4. So that elements index it will take. Okay, not the elements. It will return the index. So here we know that 7, 8, 9, 6 is greater than 4. So it will return the index of these values. 0, 1, 2. This is true, right? Index number. So, 2, 5, 6, 7. It will return. First, I will run the code. It will return 2, 5, 6, 7 index numbers. Okay. Next, find first index. Find first index means first element which satisfy the condition. This condition, that index will be returned. Item should be greater than 7 and less than 9. Find first. It will start from left side. So greater than 7 means 7 is not greater than 7. 8 is greater than 7 and it is also less than 9. So what is the index number? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
5 is the greater uh, index number. So it will return 5. Okay. It will return 5. And last index, find last index, item should be greater than 6. It will start from here. 6 is not greater than 6. 9 is greater than 6. So it will return the value 6. Index number of 9 is, uh, the value 9 is 6. Right. So it will return the value 6. And unique method. This unique method. Unique method, unique index method means it will return the indices of the unique elements. We know that 2, 1, 7, 3, 8, 9, 6. The index number 4 will be skipped here because we have 2 times. 1 is 2 times, right? So it will skip that index and it will return all other um, the index values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Like this, the index locator method works. Now we will see array reduction methods. Array reduction method, it will reduce the size of the array by performing these operations. We have five methods, dot sum, dot product, dot and dot or dot xor. So this sum method will add the elements, okay, 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 3. It will add all the elements and it will return the sum. It will add all the elements and it will return the sum. So calculate, it is 37, okay sum is 37 and dot product will multiply all the elements 2 cross 1 cross 7 cross it will multiply and the result is 18144 is the product okay and and operator or operator xor and or xor these three are bitwise operators bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor that means bitwise means bit by bit it will perform right so here it will take element by element 2 2 and 1 the result will come and with that result we have to go um, we have to check to the next element that in that result okay this 2 and 1 it will return one result it, with that result we have to compare the next element again we have to perform and operation again we will get one result with that result we have to and and with the value 3 again like this we have to perform element by element at the end we will get one value that is the result so when when i do like this i'll get the value 0 and bitwise or also same 2 or 1 result will come that result or 7 again it will come one it will return one result so that result or 3 like this we have to perform or operation with each elements so we will get the value 15 since i am using percentile d i am getting the decimal format otherwise the binary operation right these are all the binary this and or xor so i will get the here for our operation i will get 1111 that is 15 and xor also same I am getting one value. You can check after. So, so this is the reduction methods. Okay. Now we will see the ordering methods. Ordering methods means what it will do? It will manipulate the order of the given array. We have four methods here. Sort, shuffle, or sort, reverse. I am taking two display statements to compare before and after. Okay. First I am calling the sort method. The example is same. Okay. The whatever I have taken the values, this is same as previous. So I'm calling sort method. Sort will sort method will sort the array elements in such a way that it will it will arrange the order in ascending order. Okay, it will make it a ascending order. First I will run the code. Ascending order means small value come should come first, right? This is before before sort after sort. This is the sorting method. Okay. Ascending order. It has arranged the elements. After that, I am calling shuffle method. Shuffle method will shuffle the elements. That means it will uh, randomize the position of the elements. This is the last updated array before shuffle. So, this is the last, right, the last updated array. So, shuffle means it will rearrange the order. And R sort method. R sort method will this is the reverse of the sort method. That means in sort method it will arrange the val arrange the elements in ascending order. R sort means descending order. That's all. Okay. Now you can see before R sort. This is the updated array val array structure. And after the R sort reverse. Sorry, uh, descending order. The highest number should come first. Okay. And reverse method, as the name suggests, it will reverse the order the given order this is the previous one reverse means 1 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 1 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 this is reverse method so by the name we can understand most of the methods okay so this is all about array manipulation methods 
now we completed the now we have completed these uh, array manipulation methods next we will discuss the strings thank you